All right, so we have talked about what the mole is, but now let's try to actually do some calculations with it. The most mathematical thing we left off with was calculating the molar mass, which we can get directly from the periodic table. And that tells us how many grams of substance are in one mole of substance. But what if we have 3.5 moles of substance? How many grams would that be? What if I have 0.6 moles of substance? How many grams would that be? Well, we can figure this out by using dimensional analysis. So um, we're going to use the sucks tool that I taught you guys at the beginning of the school year. So let's try this with one of our practice problems that are in your packet. Um, and just as a reminder, S stands for starting, U unknown, C your conversion factor or conversion factors, and then S your setup and solve. And I do realize that uh, not everybody likes this method, but I require that you do at least the last S where you show your setup. All right, so number one, it asks us to determine the moles of sodium in 25 grams of sodium. So we are starting with 25 grams of sodium, okay? And our unknown is moles of sodium. So we need to pick a conversion factor, and I went ahead and I provided just the two conversion factors that we are gonna be using this unit. Um, we don't have all of those metric conversions, so we have to consider, okay, which one of these, molar mass or Avogadro's number, is gonna take me directly from grams to moles? Is there one of the two? And the answer is, yes, there is. Uh, we can use the molar mass. Now the thing with the molar mass is we're not given all of the numbers like we were with the metric system. You can see here that I just have a number sign, but remember that number sign is what we get from the periodic table. So if we look at our periodic table, we can figure out what the molar mass of sodium is. So here you can see sodium has a molar mass of, and for us it is, uh, 23.00 is what's on our periodic table. So 23.00, and remember, that is what I get from the periodic table, that uh, what we used to know as the average atomic mass. This is our molar mass. Okay, so we can use that value. So we're gonna go ahead and set up and solve our final equation here. Uh, so we're gonna start with what we know. We always do it over one. And I know that I'm gonna be putting a conversion factor in here, um, and I only have one to choose from, so we know what's on top must come down. So if I have grams of sodium on top, I need to have grams of sodium on the bottom. Now that I've established what unit's supposed to go on the bottom, I can take a look at my conversion factors. Which side, the mole side or the gram side, is gonna be going down here? Well, we determined that grams needs to go on the bottom. So how many grams? 22.99 grams. So we're gonna go ahead and write that. Now, because I've used one half of my conversion factor, I have to use the other half on top, which is one mole of sodium. So now I know that I've set this up correctly and I've used both sides of my conversion factor. We can cancel grams on top with grams on the bottom. Multiply across the top is 25.00 moles of Na. Multiply across the bottom, 22.99, and then we divide our top and bottom to get our final answer, which is, oops, 1.087 moles. Now, remember, when we're rounding to sig figs, this is already rounded for us, but uh, we always want to round to the number of sig figs we started with, and we started with uh, four sig figs because these zeros, we wrote those zeros. These are significant. They are trailing zeros with the decimal, so that's four sig figs. We need to make sure our final answer also has four sig figs, which it does. <laughs>